Good day folks, coming to you from Stealth Caravans. Today I want to introduce you to one of our new models. It's the Stealth Bush Lodge. It's our extreme gravel road edition. This unit has striking black and white features. It has a 3mm duplex steel A-frame with a 2.5mm duplex steel chassis. It features a 1.8 ton axle with a 2.7 ton towage. In the front we have this large boot space which houses the spare wheel, the gas bottle and there's an additional space on the left hand side for additional gas bottles or water. The unit features 16 inch alloy wheels with Kevlar tires. All round bar protection both side, front and rear for those extreme gravel road conditions. On the off side you have these uh, two large storage bins which are accessible through hatches. One under the main bed which has this huge storage area. In the same area is housed the uh, gas electric geyser. And just to the uh, right of that we have the filler spout for the standard 100 litre water tanks. The front hatch under the dinette is also accessible with a external hatch and this is uh, provided for that easy access for all those accessories that you need in setting up camp. Moving to the other side of the unit, we've got this huge pantry area with a microwave, numerous shelves, crockery, and we've got this fold-down table. It's an ideal feature for those roadside stopovers. We've got this uh, stainless steel kitchen unit with two burner gas stove and a stainless steel extension table. Inside the unit we've got this large 150 litre fridge freezer combination. It has a 110 litre fridge and a top 40 litre freezer compartment fitted with stainless steel wire racks for those extreme gravel road conditions. In the front we've got this large U-shaped dinette with a removable table which can drop down to form a double bed in front of the unit. At the back we've got this massive queen size bed with a comfortable pocket sprung mattress and headboard. Arranged around the queen side bed are numerous cupboards and storage compartments. Below the bed we've got these four massive drawer units. And on either side of the uh, bed arrangement we've got these storage compartments with reading lights, power supply and USB sockets. In this area we have a hanging space. And above that we've got this uh, drop down cupboard unit which can be used for storage of a small induction stove, kettle or coffee machine for those early morning coffees. A bit of storage space here for those accessories that you might need. To the right of that we've got this huge wardrobe cupboard with multiple shelves. On the outer side we've got these small stowage cupboards with the smaller accessories. Below the dinette at the entrance we've got this cupboard for stowage of the uh, water potty. In the ceiling we have these two open and closed vents which have an internal filter medium which can be removed and cleaned. These are fed from a duct mounted on the roof and cause cabin pressurization on gravel roads. Under the front down we also have this 105 amp hour battery, 15 amp Victron energy charger which also has Bluetooth connection capabilities. 
Here we can see those extreme gravel road features of the Bush Lodge fan. And on the off side, we also have those striking features. The addition of this uh, tent in a bag, which can easily be set up and taken down and stowed away. These images will give us a little bit of a preview of the uh, test conditions under which this fan was subject to before its prior launch. Over 15,000 kilometers of testing, approximately half of that on extreme gravel roads and some extreme tar roads within the African continent. The vehicle was tested on the southern boundary road of Lake Kariba, which is notorious for its poor gravel road conditions. Often having to dodge and weave to find the better path in these extreme conditions. Test conditions also included many kilometers of these extreme corrugated gravel roads and dodging the infamous livestock along the way. Some road conditions in the southern boundary road of Kariba included these deep rutted sections which are carved out during the summer months of the rain by the buses and trucks and become hardened gullies during the winter months when it all dries up, often having to change direction just to choose the most comfortable route. Being a wider van configuration and not exactly designed for deep sand conditions, these conditions that were experienced in and out of minor pools with medium sand and deflated tire conditions didn't prove to be an obstacle for the extreme gravel road van and the vehicle being a three liter Toyota diesel. During testing we also had some of these very tight narrow roads lined with mopani trees and granite outcrops. A little bit more care and attention with the wider van and observation of the rear view mirrors we managed to get the van in and out of these conditions without a scratch. The Stealth Bush Lodge, enabling you to access those more remote campsites without sacrificing your comfort. Stealth Caravans, comfort that follows you.